Thought I'd give an update. I finally got a toy hauler. We sold our Stellar toy hauler more than a year ago on four hours, in four hours on Craigslist. Pretty happy about that. And But it's taken us more than a year to get this one. This is the one we wanted. We actually had to go to Texas. We live in Arizona. There was like a seven person waiting list here in Arizona to get one of these. And the prices have skyrocketed. This is the Grand Design Momentum 21G. My wife and I have been wanting this for a long time. And they've added a bunch of features that I really like. One of them, one of them is the 12 volt refrigerator. Been wanting that for a long time. And then the biggest thing that we wanted was the deck on the back with the awning. We're just so happy to get this. We got it Labor Day weekend, drove to San Antonio and got it and brought it right back. We're camping out here. This, this is Catalina State Park, north of Tucson. We love it here. This is probably our favorite state park to come to. We come here a lot. Really nice. You got great views. Sitting out here at night on this deck was just awesome. We put our fire propane fire pit out here. Really awesome. Really like it. Got my flagpole hooked up on there. I just made a couple of brackets to attach it to the ladder. We actually took the screens off these screen off these uh, three season doors, and uh, we couldn't see out that great with them. And also, you can't clean the windows. So we just took the screens off. I don't ever see using the screens on there. So we did that. We like that a lot better. This deck is just awesome. This is like my favorite feature of this toy hauler. I'll go through some of the things that were included that I didn't even know were included on this. So you can see there's no vents for the refrigerator. The refrigerator goes right above the uh, uh, hot water heater there. So there's no vents because it's 12 volt. It's uh, got Goodyear endurance tires. That was a feature I liked. It's got self-adjusting brakes. I didn't even know that until just yesterday when I was underneath there looking at the axle. I bought one of these nice uh, surge protectors. This is a watchdog, and I put this flapper on here to cover that up. This is just a piece of rubber I used electrical tape and covered up on there. Uh, let's see. Really like this thing. Nice slide. Lubed up the rubber on there. I lubed the motor, uh, gibbs, and everything on that. It didn't come with a generator, and at first I wanted the generator. But I made a compartment for that. I hold the hose and the electrical cords in there. And a lot of people said you can't tow this with a half ton truck. And let me tell you, this Ram, this is a 2015 Ram 1500 with a Hemi. I've got the 8-speed transmission and I think it's 392 or 393 gears in there. This thing had no issues whatsoever. We took it to the cat scales a couple times on our way home because I had a new hitch. Took me a couple times to get the weight adjusted right, but we have exactly 1,300 pounds towing weight on here, which is at the capacity, so we're good there. And the trailer, with the way we had it loaded, we had a half a tank of water, which is about 50 gallons. And let's see, uh, that's, what, like 400 pounds. Coming home from San Antonio, I had no issues going up the hills. No issues at all. Two 20-pound tanks. This is the Kurt true track hitch and the sway protection is built into the hitch you can see a little ball under there keeps it uh sway and i haven't there's no swaying that i noticed it's only got one cheapy battery in there i'm going to increase that to two so here's some of the features that it has that i did not know at the time i wasn't sure if i had a solar panel but it does it's got the 175 watt jiboni solar panel it's got two fantastic fans that I didn't know it had. It included the TPMS, Lippert TPMS uh, sensors for the tires. I just hooked those up the other day. It, uh, gosh, it's got a couple other things I can't even remember now that it has that I didn't know it had. That air conditioner, I think that's the Coleman Mach 3, I believe, quiet model. And man, let me tell you, that thing is quiet. We can sit in there and have a conversation and not even raise our voices. It is just so quiet. Really good, really good. Nitrogen filled tires. It's got a fuel cell. 
I think it holds 30 or 35 gallons. Came with a sewer hose. You can see it under there. I was going to talk about that sewer hose uh, storage too. I saw this on another video. These popped open and the hose came out while he was driving down the road. So I put a little piece of bathing wire there just to hold that shut in case it did happen. Oh, self-adjusting brakes on the axles. That tag there says it's got self-adjusting brakes, which makes my day because I hate doing that. I have to do that at least once a year. I waxed it this weekend here at night. It's got LED lights all over. Really happy with it. So far, everything works great. I haven't had any issues. We bought this at Explorer. I think it's Explorer RV in San Antonio. I think they got branches all over in San Antonio and Texas. But uh, let me tell you, I, I pulled the air conditioner cover off in there. I was thinking I might have to put some of that tape in there to, you know, equalize the airflow in there because of disturbances. They already did that. It, it's like spick and span in there. Wiring is all done good. I, I I know Grand Design's not perfect, but I haven't found any flaws yet. I know it's early. We we camped on our way home from San Antonio two nights, and everything worked great. Let me tell you, that trip home, that's a 1,000 miles. That was pretty rough. Lots of big bumps on I-10. West Texas and New Mexico is terrible on I-10, man. And so far, one little cabinet uh, screw stripped out. I fixed that, no problem. So uh, just a warning for all you travelers out there. That's not a great place. Even without my trailer, when I was going to San Antonio, it would hit these bumps and just jar the truck. It would actually have to correct the steering because it was jarring the truck out of place. Anyway, this is a quick video. I'll do another one on the interior. But uh, we really like this thing. We've been wanting one of these for a couple of years, and I'm glad I waited because we got, they just added the three season doors. I think it was last year. And then the 12 volt fridge, I really wanted that. I turned that on Thursday after work and I did some other things to get it ready to go. And within, I think it was within a half an hour, you could already feel the fridge and freezer already getting cold in that thing. Now they say like eight hours, but I, I've heard from everybody else, it only takes a couple hours, it's ready to go. So I'll show you my uh, connection I did for the flag. I'm a machinist. I just did this at home real quick. I bought some plastic offline. And uh, it's just a little quick clamp. Drilled the hole and then split it with a saw and put a couple screws through it. And uh, that's how I did that. Put two of them up there. I gotta have a flag. Gotta have a flag. It's got three tanks, one black and two grays. I guess that's uh, one downfall, but I guess they had to do that because the kitchen's so far away from the bathroom. Anyway, I'm going to cut that off here, and uh, thanks for watching. Really happy with this grand design, let me tell you. I'm really happy with it a lot. So, take care, everybody. Safe travels.